What an incredible day today as Google had hosted its annual developer conference where they had a lot of new model drops announced, new coding agents, and much more. We first have the release of the new Gemini 2.5 Pro DeepMink model. The Gemini 2.5 Pro is already a leader on benchmarks like Web Dev Arena and LM Arena, but now they have introduced a new version to it called DeepThink. It takes reasoning to a whole new level. It's essentially taking the experimental mode and it simulates parallel hypothesis testing and it's going to enable the model to pause, think and evaluate multiple pathways before generating an answer. This is where this new model is insanely powerful. What's funny is that the Gemini 2.5 Pro preview was just released and now we have a deep think mode which sets a new standard in AI performance which greatly outpaces its predecessor. It tops the 2025 USA MO Math benchmark, scores an 84 percentage on MMMU for multimodal reasoning, and excels at live code bench with advanced coding capabilities, which is where it is interesting to see that the preview that we just saw for the Gemini 2.5 Pro was specifically designed to be a coding model. And now we have this deep think model that greatly outpaces the coding capabilities of that preview. Now, key features include thinking budgets for controlled reasoning and thought summaries for transparency. It's currently available to trusted testers through the Gemini API, but broader access will follow up once they have tested this model a bit more. Now guys, the only issue is you could access this model, but it's going to be only available through the Google AI Ultra plan. Now, I know we all expected an Ultra model, but we ended up getting an Ultra subscription plan. This is where it is charging you $249.99 a month, but for the first three months, it's going to be $124.99. You can unlock all of these capabilities like the new 2.5 Pro DeepThink as well as the VO3 model. You can also access Flow, which is something that we'll take a look at later on in the video. But essentially, you get access to this DeepThink model only with the Google Ultra plan not with the Google AI Pro, which is $20 a month, which is kind of unfortunate. Also, the Ultra plan is only available in the US at the moment, with more countries coming soon, but it's kind of unfortunate that they only restricted it to the United States. Now, I know that news is kind of unfortunate, but they did release two other models that you can access today, which are still pretty impressive. We first have the introduction of the new Gemini 2.5 Flash. This is a faster, smarter, and cheaper model. The 2.5 Flash is a lean, high-speed sibling model of the 2.5 Pro that's optimized for low latency and cost efficiency while still packing advanced capabilities. It now uses 20-30% to fewer tokens for the same task. It supports long context with multimodal input as well as reasoning tasks. There's a native audio output plus a multi-speaker text-to-speech integration within the model and its boosted security against prompt injection has been now introduced. Overall, it is a new robust model that still packs a punch with new upgraded capabilities. This model is insanely cheap in comparison to many of the other state-of-the-art models like OpenAI's O4, Cloud 3.7 Sonic, Grok 3, as well as DeepSeek R1. And it packs a punch in terms of its performance through reasoning all the way to science, Coding, it's slightly behind, but still puts up a good benchmark. And overall, it is something that is now available in Google AI Studio, the Gemini app, and soon through Vertex AI. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up-to-date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. And then lastly, in terms of the new models that were released today, they had introduced the new Gemma 3N model. This is a tiny yet mighty multimodal model for mobile and edge users. It is a breakthrough because it's an ultra lightweight model that supports text, image, audio, and video, specifically optimized for smartphones and edge devices. But that's not even the best part about this model. It is a 4 billion parameter model that is somewhat slightly on par with cloud 3.7 sonnet but what's insane is that it is capable of beating the gpt 4.1 nano the llama 4 maverick as well as the 5.4 
all of these models are greatly larger than the Gemma 3, which is just insane to me. This is a model that's ideal for on-device AI tasks like AR overlays, instant translations, personal assistance, and it is something that you would want to use on a daily basis due to its lightweight uh, model size as well as something that's enough for low power devices. Next, we have the release of the VO3 model. Finally, Google has released this model, which is the best video gen model available that is outpacing every other model like Sora or other vid gen models that's available right now. It is a high fidelity video generation model with sound and dialogue, which is incredible. VO3 pushes vid gen to cinematic levels because you can see in these demos, you can see the 4K realism with native sound, dialogue, and ambient noise. It's designed for storytellers, you have educators, marketers, or content creators who want to use this model for that purpose. It could also be paired with the Gemini model to generate videos from structured prompts. Just take a listen to it live in action. Bloody hell! That shot, you're making me talk now! Now, isn't that amazing? This is the capability of Google's new VO3 model, and it's going to be something that will be worked upon even more in the next couple of weeks. Now, with this release, they've also introduced Flow, which is a text-to-film studio. It's a new creative tool that combines the VO3 model with Gemini to automate film scene creation from text prompts. Next up, we have the update coming to the Gemini Code Assist product, which is something that we've showcased on this channel that's a free, powerful AI coding companion. This is where the Gemini Code Assist is now even more capable with the 2.5 upgrade. It supports the new 2.5 Pro, and it's also going to have DeepThink available for tougher logic problems when that model is fully available. It supports a 2 million token context for larger code base offers code reviews, inline suggestions, and debugging tips. It will automatically detect as well as repair bug inside Google no Colab notebooks, and it's something that is completely free that you can access today. Next up, we have the introduction of a new Firebase Studio feature. This is where you can go from Figma to full stack in minutes. Firebase Studio is taking a major leap forward by introducing the ability to convert Figma designs into functional frontends. You simply deploy the Figma design, it will then rapidly work on creating that design for you. Now, in this case, it can auto-generate backends, auth systems, as well as databases, and it uses the Gemini 2.5 Pro under the hood to optimize the layout and the actual logic of your app. Lastly, Google released Jules. This is a new coding agent that was just released today, and it's essentially having a silent teammate who tracks your to-dos while you actually sleep. It's, in my opinion, a competitor to the new OpenAI Codex, which is capable of handling bug fixes, refactors, as well as featuring prototyping automatically. It works asynchronously with your code base, and it operates off of the Gemini 2.5 capabilities with tool use. You just simply write the problem and Jules will find a way to uh, create a solution as well as submit PRs. And it's a way that introduces uh, the collaboration with AI in a new unique way. So this is kind of like an AI developer that takes control of all your tasks for you autonomously. This is something that I'm going to make a video on soon. So definitely stay posted on that. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. I guess this was just the tip of the iceberg of what I had mentioned that came out of this conference. There's a lot more to this and you can actually take a look at this Twitter thread that talks about all the new updates further in detail. You can see there's a new diffusion model that was released, Image Gen 4, which is going to rival against the new OpenAI Image Gen model. There is a lot more to this, so definitely stay tuned by looking at the links in the description below to learn more about all the new updates a part of this conference. But with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and got some sort of value. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the second channel if you haven't already. 
uh, subscribe to the newsletter, join our Discord, follow me on Twitter, as well as subscribing to the YouTube channel. Make sure you go ahead and turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys really shortly. Peace out, fellas.